Hey everybody, Ann here in the tiny house having my coffee. It's pretty cold, but it's going to warm up. We've had some really, really cold days, rainy, icy, um, and no videos because there's been nothing interesting going on. I've just been doing the same thing basically every day, but today um, I think I want to cut down some trim. I need to cut down some more wood. Uh, once again, I'm running out of wood. And we still got at least six weeks of cold. I mean, like, really cold where I have to light a fire. Um, over the next week, I probably won't have to burn too many fires because it's going to be super mild. But I've had some ideas. And I watched Luke Fugit. Um, he's built a tiny house that is absolutely beautiful. So I watched one of his videos um, last night, yesterday. And the inside of his tiny house just looks so good. And he's such a good builder. I'm so jealous. I'll put the link down below so you guys can go check out his channel and see what he's done with his tiny house. But um, I need to get some stuff done. The insulation still isn't done. There's that, that one section that needs to be completed. But I know I'll get that eventually. Um, I just need to be able to afford to get the rest of the insulation. Um, I did want to ask you guys... Okay, so when I put the 50-foot rolls on my Amazon wish list, um, I put five down that I needed five. And then I got two of them. But so I went back to the Amazon wish list to decrease the number that I needed. And I noticed that it said that I had three. So if you are a person that ordered me or sent me the... Um, Insulation rolls, please shoot me an email at Anne's Tiny Life, all one word, all lower, lowercase, at protonmail.com, P R O T O N M A I L.com, or leave me a comment down below if you feel like it. Um, because I only got two rolls, and they sent it, this company sends it via USPS, the US Post Office, and y'all know how I feel about them. So I'm thinking that. I don't know, maybe there was a mistake or maybe there was a cancellation or something like that. But I only got two rolls, but Amazon said that I got three. So if you sent one, please let me know. I think I've only got about 10, 20, I think I, I need about 30 more feet. Um, and I'll, I'll get that eventually, but I've got an idea for the roof. So, um, I mean, how to finish the ceiling and um, I'm just gonna have to test a few things to see if it'll work. I wanted to show you too, I made this little candle thing. I just wanted to test it out on a little small thing so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. See that there? It is a little tiny jelly jar and I put some shortening in it and a candle wick. The candle wick came out of an actual candle that I melted down for fire starters. So I filled it with shortening and I stuck it down in there and lo and behold, it works. I've also tried it with bacon grease, and that works as well. So um, I think I'm going to start making these little candles because it's nice to kind of have a, a little candle burning for you. Oh, my gosh. I came out here to get my bow saw. And look at that. <laughs> Mama laid an egg. Let's see. Is it warm? Mm, it's not freezing cold. Ah, it's pretty cold. Um, the puppy scared her into this shed the other day, yesterday. And she was just kind of perching in here. So I guess she decided to lay up on top of there. Thank you, Mama. That is the sorry state of my wood pile. There's nothing up there. I still got a few big pieces. I'm going to have to cut a few of those a little bit smaller because they're just too long. But yeah, I got to gather some more. I split up one big log that I had. And it is just so wet. So I'm going to let it sit out here in the sun and hopefully dry out. And then I'll put it in the shed and, I don't know, maybe by the end of the season it'll be ready to burn. Today what I'm looking for is stuff that's specifically about this size. Um, yeah, I can go ahead and cut this up because I won't have to split those. Those are just nice logs. I'll be able to put them right on the fire. Um, they got to dry out a little bit more first. I think that's about all from this pile. Yeah, some of them I'm going to have to split, but the rest of these. And it's all pretty wet, so yeah, this won't be ready to burn for a while. I can take it inside the tiny house and put it up on top of um, like a grill on top of the wood burning stove and it'll dry out that way, but uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Remember this tree right here that I cut down stupidly? I didn't do a very good job, but um, it is just being held up by some vines, so I think I'm going to try and cut this one apart today. Cool! It did exactly what I wanted to do. Now this part is dangling, so I'm just going to keep cutting it. <sighs> 
that's a little bit too high. I really want to start cutting from this way. I don't want to do it too much this way because I have to go up on top and then underneath so that it doesn't pinch my blade. Um, I don't know. Let's see how much of this I can get done. You know what, you guys? This log is so rotten. It is just so stinking rotten, at least up towards the top here. Um, I might try and cut me a few logs off the bottom part and off of the part that's going down in there and see if it's worth cutting up, but I don't want to, you know, waste my energy and resources on cutting up a big piece of junk, basically. Nah, I'm not going to do it. It's, it's basically rotten all the way through, and it would be horrible to try and burn, so <sighs> I'm going to have to look for something else. Remember that one that I took most of it down already that had fallen over the kid's path? I think, I think today is the day. Yeah, I'm going to cut it from here first. It's going to be on the ground, so I'll have to cut it from the top, roll it, and then cut it from the bottom so I don't take my chainsaw into the dirt. Yeah, that's a lot of wood. I did it. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, it's pretty, pretty big, too. So what I had to do is saw down for a little bit, and then I got on the other side and sawed, and then I sawed from the bottom up. And I didn't pinch my blade, and I got it down, so now I get to do the rest. One down. That was easy because it, this part was elevated up off the ground. So I got to go get my other battery and finish the rest. Yeah, this will, it's still pretty wet, but it'll dry out better than that other stuff. I got it all cut apart. I'm proud of myself. Yeah, um, I've already taken, I think, like six logs and over the river. And I don't know. I'm going to have to come back and look at this piece of wood. There's one there. There's one there. Those are newly fallen, it looks like. Um, yeah, those might work too. That's a nice little pile of wood. I had to cut some of them kind of small because the last tree was like twisted. So I'm actually going to be able to split some of this up. It's just put it in the wagon and get it back to the tiny house. <laughs> this wagon is full. And I'm not even going to try and get it over the, the little stream thingy. Um, I'm just too tired and I, I don't feel like tossing it. So I'm just going down this beautiful path that my neighbors cleared. Um, I'm going to take it out on the street and all the way around up to the tiny house. Uh, it'll take me a little bit longer, but at least I won't lose anything in the stream. Ooh, look here. I had forgotten all about this. Pull it off to the side. Those would make some pretty decent logs. Yeah, maybe I'll come back and get these today too. I figured since I had the chainsaw out here, I'd go ahead and cut up quite a bit of this. So, yeah, I'm going to take this back to the tiny house and drop it off and then come back and get all this. Here it all is. All of it. Got to split that up. I've already split that up. I'm just letting it kind of air dry a little bit. This stuff right here, I'm not going to split up. I'm just letting it sit out for a little bit. That's that load I just did. And then in all of these big old logs, i got to take a break. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get to these today. Um... But nevertheless, they're in the sun, so I'm back at the tiny house, and I went inside, and I kept Papa and the puppies inside just because I didn't want them roaming about while I'm doing the chainsaw thing and, you know, hurling chunks of wood here and there. Got inside, and the puppies, I'm pretty sure it was the puppies, destroyed the inside of the tiny house. I had some eggs up on the counter that were drying. They pulled them down and scattered them all over the floor. They got into a pile of kindling wood and chewed it up and spread it all over the place. They got into the sink and pulled out dishes. It was complete utter chaos. And so I'm not going to even show you because it is just, it is, it's like a bomb went off <laughs> inside the tiny house. So not, not only do I have to go finish all that wood, I have to clean the inside of the tiny house, but it's all part of, uh, you know, having puppies. Uh, they'll grow out of it. Papa, he's great. He doesn't do any of that kind of stuff. But, um, uh, I just, I just need to take a rest <laughs> and then uh, go finish that wood. I'm done. I got four of the big logs split up. I've still got four to go, but I can do those tomorrow. I didn't just have to quarter these, not just eighth them. Sometimes I had to cut them into one sixteenth pieces. So that was a lot of work. I am likely just to leave these out here probably even overnight. Um, it's pretty dry up here because it's up on a hill. And then those two little things I'm going to take into the tiny house 
and this is it guys this is it for today and looky here yep you know who that's gonna go to that's gonna go to the gentleman okay fellas let's see if you know what to do with these what do you think you think they'll go for them they're freaking ignoring them they're ignoring them oh my gosh fellas eat them they're protein well, I don't have time to stand here and watch whether or not they're going to eat these. I hope they do. It has been a beautiful, beautiful day. It's been warm, sunny. I got a bunch of wood cut up. That makes me happy. And you know what? I just realized this is my two-year anniversary of being on this little plot of land. So I think I'm going to do a more appropriate anniversary video, maybe tomorrow or the next day, because... So much has happened since I moved out here. Remember, I was living in the van. Yeah, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Anyhow, I think that's enough for today, don't you? That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. You can now join me on Rumble, where I talk about current events, politics, and other thoughts on weighty subjects. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.